I'm here. I hope you're here because I want to show you some really cute things. <laughs> all right, first of all, let's see. I bought me another one of these little doohickeys because they are really handy and I really like them a lot. So I bought myself another one for my desk in the art room so I don't have to carry them back and forth. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Which one should we start with? Let's just start here because it's the colorfulest. Colorfulest? Most colorful? And it's a bee. <laughs> He's so cute, right? He's got a, few, I've got a couple of wrinkles in his paws and a glare for you. Let's see if we can get rid of those wrinkles. Barely. It helps. It made a difference. So this is a 30 by 30 full drill and it has 23 colors and you can see how beautiful and clear the canvas is. Super cute, right? And ta-da! We got the drills packaged in little tiny zip top bags with the number for the canvas right there. And then we have a nice sticker right here that tells me what the item number is and the size of the canvas. So that's pretty cool, right? It did come with a standard toolkit. Next up, Emily actually picked out the next two, so if you don't like them, it's her fault. But I thought this one was pretty cool. It's like a like a cave or a cavern in the ocean. And there is a I think it's supposed to be a dolphin. Ooh. Excuse me, sorry for that. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a dolphin, but it could almost pass for like just a regular fish. But if you look really, really close. He's got a little nose there. So this is a cool one. I love the blues. I hope the blues are right on. So this is a 30 by 40 with 20 colors. And again, we have a beautiful clear canvas. There's a close up of our dolphin friend. One of my neighbors is like building something and has been for like the last two weeks. So all I hear right now is a saw, like a table saw or a band saw or something. It also came with a standard toolkit. And this one came with the diamond bags. Did not have the number written on it, so I had to write the number on there. So you can see there are a lot of blues. 20 shades of blue to be exact and some cream. Okay, so there's that one. And this one is pretty wild. Again, Emily picked this one out. This is not something I would have picked, but she's like, that looks kind of cool. So get that one. It's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about it. So it's a heart and half of it is a sh Nautilus shell, I think. I think that's supposed to be a seashell, one of the big, big giant snail shells. I think that's what that's supposed to be. So hopefully it will be pretty cool when it's done. Again, this is a 30 by 40 and there are 23 colors on here as well. Again, nice and crisp and clear. Just kind of weird with the subject matter. I don't know, she's 13, what do you want, right? And then it also came with a standard toolkit. But, the downside on this one is the drills are in the little tiny bags. 
which are not my favorite. So there's lots of teal and purple and red in this one. Excuse me, I need to cough. Excuse me. So lots of, what I say, teals, purples, reds, as you can see from the canvas. A little bit of pink in there. So there's that. One more thing, one more thing. It's very exciting. Let's get it open. We have our standard toolkit with some bags this time. And again, struggling to open these goofy bags. I blame it on my eyesight. My eyesight is not good. Even corrected, it's still not great. They claim I'm 2020, but it'd be my alarm telling me that I don't have much time left <clears throat> before I have to leave to go get Emily. I always I have to do that on Wednesdays because sometimes I forget. <laughs> Yeah, it's not fun being two blocks away from the school waiting to get Emily. It takes a long time to get through that line. So here are the colors for our next project. I love this purple color. It's so pretty. Like grape juice. These are black regular drills here. And ooh, we have the gold marquee. I like those, those are cool ones. We have little baby marquee in purple. We have pink teardrops, blue teardrops, and the fun opaque blue iridescent. I love these when they come in a project. I have purple, red, and this blue in that size. So let me just quickly get these put away. <laughs> Don't move those out anymore. And now to show you what we'll be putting all those beautiful stones on. Oops. So as you can see, it's going to be keychains. Get this. They're stuck to the edges. Ooh, that one's really sticky. The whole lobster claw is sticky on that one. All right, let me put these away. So we've got our ball chain and our lobster claws. And then here are the actual keychain pieces. So they're the half butterfly, half flower images, and they are double-sided. So we have a blue butterfly here. Beautiful purple butterfly here with purple flowers, some green leaves. My favorite monarch with what looks like the milkweed flower. Here we have another, I don't know what you call this butterfly, but it's got some cute flowers with it. A beautiful pink one. And then this one with a mix of flowers. A peony in there. I mean, not, not, yeah, a peony looks like. So there they are. I'll go through them one more time.
There you have it. We can look at the canvases one more time and see how we feel about this one that Emily picked out. Our heart. It does look like it's under the ocean. It's just, it's very different. There was a whole whole bunch of them that were similar to this. And I was trying to look for something different, which I definitely succeeded in that. Here's our dolphin in the underwater cave. I love the bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubble. And then last but not least, the adorable bee. Well, that was a quick video today, wasn't it? All right. Well, that's what I have for you today. Quick, short, and sweet, I guess, right? All right. So I will see you again very, very soon. And I want to say thank, thank you for always complimenting my meals. I have fun with getting crazy colors and such. So I'm glad other people appreciate them and they're getting to the point where they need to be done. But I'm going to try to wait a few more weeks. So you'll see these for a while still. All right. I'll see you again very soon. Make sure you check the links in the description box. Go to Diamond Art Gift and get your very own beautiful diamond paintings. And I will see you.